Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to load the full version of Clipper being uh, Moonraker and Fluid or Mainsail onto our Creality KE printer. Now the same things used on the K1, the K1 Max and the K1C. So if you're interested in getting the full version and having full control of your printer, this is going to be the video for you to watch. Um, if you're going to watch, please go down the bottom there and just hit that subscribe button because not many of you are subscribing so it really helps the channel to have people subscribe and I'd be much appreciated. Okay guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, before we get into it, just a quick little warning that if you have no idea about Clipper at all, please do some research. Um, fiddling around inside the panels we're about to load on can severely stuff up the software on your printer and it won't print very well anymore if it prints at all. So um, please do some research before loading the full version of Clipper on. Okay guys, so if you come to the control panel of your printer and down the bottom come to the fourth one along which looks like a cog, select that. You will come into the systems. If you're if not on systems, select systems up at the top here and it will give you a menu item down it's like there one two about the fifth item down it says root account information so if you go into that you'll be um, greeted with a disclaimer and stuff that Creality want you to scroll through and have a read once you've read it select the um, checkbox down the bottom here it says you accept all the um, the risks associated with reading your machine and it will have a 20 second delay on it so if you haven't done it before you'll have to wait until 20 seconds is up and then the OK will highlight push the OK and it will root your machine it will give you the count which is root and the password which is Creality 2023 with a capital C so they're the um, bits you need to sign into your machine so if we go back up in the, the top menu tabs here you've got a network so if you select network the network you're joined to will tell you the IP address. So on here, I have an IP address of 192.168.74.80. So that's on the local network here. So that is the IP address you're going to need to log into your machine later on. So you can either get it here or you can get it through Creality Print, which I'll show you later. Okay. Okay, guys. So once you've um, turned on the root command on your KE printer we need to come into a web browser and we need to download a ssh client now if you don't have one there's one called putty so we'll go off and pull down putty from this and i'll put all the links and stuff in the description down below so what um oh yeah we'll do the installer why not we have the whole lot so that's just going to download for us now okay so once you've downloaded putty and loaded it we go into the start menu list all your apps and go down to the P's and you'll see putty is loaded just here so from that you just click on it and go into putty so this is our connection in our SSH connection in so it needs the IP address of the printer now I'll just get this out of the way for tip now this is Creality Print, so usually when you sub a job, you'll see this after you've subbed it, and it will show you if you've got a camera, it'll show you a camera and all that sort of stuff, yeah? This is the default view. If you want to see what some other details of your printer, under the tab here in um, the top left, it's got land printing, so you can just click on land printing and list all your printers here. So here's my KE down the bottom here, and there's the IP address I need. So I'm going to come back into PuTTY and I'm going to type that IP address 192.168.74.80 Leave everything else as default and go open. So it will, it's now, you're now connected to your printer. Now, now what it wants is a login. Root is the user ID and then hit enter and it'll ask for the password and it's Creality with a capital C so case sensitive and 2023 there's no gaps or spaces or anything in that 
and then once it comes up with a little hash sign at the end of the thing there that means you're logged in so I'm now logged into my printer and it's ready to accept commands so all the commands I'm going to put in I'll have in the description I have a little um, steps of what you need to do in the description so just follow along on the steps so what we need to do now is tell it to load up the installer so we've got to go to github so it's git clone https colon github.com forward slash and it is case sensitive don't forget so if I put a capital in you need to put a capital in when you're typing it out reality shelter put a capital H ah oh, damn it forgot to put a capital H sorry help uh, script I'm not a fast typer guys <laughs> it is what it is and now what it's doing is copying all the information from github which is basic where a lot of people keep all this software and stuff and, and a lot of development gets done and all of that is copying it from github onto my printer now so I'm just got to wait for all of that to copy and it says that everything's done and once it's done then we got to um, run the, the script on the printer to give us the options to be able to load, my, um, load the full version of Clipper. So it's come back with another little hash, which means it's waiting for input. So it, everything's been done. So now we've got to type in the, let's load the script that we've just copied over to our printer. So now it's going to run the script and it's going to come up with a menu. Now, what we want to do is of course, number one, we want to install it. So if we type in one, enter. And now it's going to ask us, what we want to install so if we scroll up and down we can see i want to install the moonraker is what we want to do and after moonraker we want to do fluid okay so you can do main cell if you want but now yeah, i'm going to do moonraker so one do one are you sure you want to install yes i am sure now wait it's going from all the files across to my printer Okay, so that's all loaded that bit. So next up, we want to load. You can either do fluid here or main cell. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm going to use fluid. So I'm going to go two. Am I sure? Yes, I am sure. Thank you very much. And away it goes, loading fluid in for us. So there's not a lot you have to do, but if you make a mistake, your printer ain't going to work. We want a Q is exit about here and we're out now if you want to have a look what's been loaded on we will go into ls so that's everything we've loaded on you can see over here we have fluid and we have moonraker so all of that's been loaded on. So it is on our printer. Everything is right to go. So once we do that, we can exit out. I'll just go exit. And I'm not sure it'll make a difference in, let's have a look in Creality Print. Doesn't make a difference in Creality Print. But if I load up, what you can do now is load up your browser. Where's my browser going? There it is. Um, you can just load up your browser and I can go into my printer now I'll make that full screen so 192.168.74.80 and the port is oh, double what is it double eight uh, double four oh eight I think it is so we're telling it to go to that printer, which is the IP address, and we need to go in through this port. 
So it's just a colon and the port number of 4408, which is what um, Fluid uses. And you will see in a minute, it's loading up Fluid. Boom, boom, there is Fluid. Now, if I get both of them side by side, So this is the Creality version of Clipper. Come, come on, get smaller, smaller. I think I'm going to go smaller. Okay. But as you can see, ah oh man, sorry. So as you can see, There's lots of information. See all these um, menu items at the side here, and you've got all this information here. You can have a look through, and you can run macros and um, issue commands, which is the main reason I've loaded this. I need to issue a command because I'm having temperature problems on my KE, and the temperature's fluctuating, so I need to do what's called a PID tune, and I can't do that through the Creality Print um, version, so I need to go and load a full version of Clipper so I can issue commands to the printer. Um, so you can have a look on the Creality one here. There is no menu at the side. This is all you get. Just see there's one, two, three, four little, four panels, yeah? Or five, we've got the camera there as well. So over here on the Fluid one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels, nine, Yep, nine panels on this tab, but then I can go to all these other tabs. Let's have a look if we can find, uh, here's a tune one, where we can have a look at, so there's more panels here. Yeah, okay, you can turn off and on the run out sensors. In here is your config, where you can issue, con uh, yeah. be very careful what you're doing here. These are the configurations of Clipper and all the commands that get issued to your printer uh, to make it print properly. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so if you have a look, you can see there's lots of little commands here and, and the values and stuff. Um, for those wanting to know about um, extrusion speeds and stuff, it's rotation distance is here. That distance um, keeps track of the extrusion speed. Um, so I can change that and speed up or slow down how fast the filament comes out. Um, you've got a whole bundle of things in here. Um, how the bed is, if anyone's used Marlin before, this is the clipper area that you'd change just like you would in Marlin if you go into Marlin and, and edit the files in Marlin. So this is where it all is. So that's the reason why everybody wants to um, load clipper onto their, onto their printers. So they've got full control of their printers, but be very careful because if you change the wrong value, it's going to stuff everything up. So you can see you've got lots and lots of stuff here. I'm going to turn on, where's my camera? Cameras. So down in the bottom settings area, you've got a camera here and you can actually add cameras and take cameras off. Now I'm going to have to come in here and add a camera because I've got a um, Nebula camera that I've got and I'll attach that on and I'll have to come in here and actually tell Clipper that I've got a camera loaded. So that's what you're doing here. Um, plus a lot of other stuff, but um, anyway, so that's why we load Clipper and Clipper is now loaded on my printer. So it wasn't very hard to do. And like I said, um, all the stuff will be down in the description below. And while you're heading on down there to have a look at things, as you go past that little subscribe button, Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you do push that little subscribe button and subscribe to the channel so you get more videos like this. I try to get them out every week, but I haven't been um, doing too well. I had allergic reaction to, to a medication I was on, so I <laughs> was not able to do some videos for a little while. But I'm all back in, in the run now, so hopefully we get back to weekly videos. Okay, guys. Thanks very much, and I will see you later. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these, or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. Bye.